revisiting SSH. So a little while back, I took a look at SSH and Windows 10. It's now included by default when you install. Let's configure it with Windows Terminal. So if we type SSH, we can see it's installed. If we go to settings, go to add new. Give our profile a name. So we're going to connect to a Pi, so we're going to call this Pi. Then we type in the SSH command, Pi, at, I'm going to use the DNS name. You could also use an IP address here. Give the tab a title, which is going to be Pi. And we click Save. And now if we click on the menu, we can see we've got a Pi option. And then when we click it, we get asked to add the fingerprint. And then we can log in. We close it and reopen it. We can see we still get asked for a password. Log in, it works fine. So moving back to the Windows tab, we're already in the C users user SSH folder. Uh, user in this case is just the username. I'm going to type in SSH key gen. That's going to create our public private pair. We're going to be asked a file name. Hit, you hit return, you get the file name ID underscore RSA, which is the default. Then we're going to enter a password, passphrase. Then we have our file generated. Then what we need to do is set the Windows service to automatically start each time Windows is run. So now we've got the service starting when Windows starts. Now we need to start the service. Start hyphen service SSH hyphen agent. Then we need to add the key to our profile in Windows. So we do that with the ssh hyphen add command. I made a mistake there. We're in that folder anyway, so I'll just take that out and pop it in. We enter the passphrase that we used earlier. And now that's added. If we try and connect to the Pi, we will still be prompted for the password, as we can see here. So we can still can't connect to the Pi. What we need to do now is copy over our public key to the Pi. There's one or two ways of doing this. We could use this command that will overwrite the authorized keys on the Pi. SCP is basically a copy program. So what we could do instead is use this. So this takes the pub file, types it out, copies it over, and basically appends it to the authorized keys file. That means you're not going to overwrite any existing keys on the Pi. Once you've done that, we can connect and the Pi connects with no password.